everyone, spring has truly arrived in the garden and we were lucky that we still got a beautiful spring show. Well, mostly daffodils, but a few more things as well. So I hope you enjoyed this mini tour of our blooms this year. In the middle of March, the garden was full of buds and the promise of beautiful flowers to come. Miss Gary were among the first to bloom I absolutely love their dainty blooms. These were followed by our early daffodils and of course crocus are always some of the first blooms in the garden. I love the soft spring light. I feel like everything is made even more beautiful by it. Hyacinths are some of my favorite blooms because they are scented. They are perfect to have on your patio, next to a door, on a table, so that you can really enjoy their fragrance. It's pretty classic and expected, but I absolutely love soft colors for spring. Soft blues and yellows paired with white. It has a really lovely cooling effect and of course matches the weather. I had to replant all the bulbs so they got a little bit jumbled but it turns out that Ice King and Replant pair wonderfully together. Of course tulips are the queen of spring. However, I really do enjoy other bulbs like Iacins, like Miss Gary, like daffodils because they also bloom for a very long time and bring something different to the garden. So I would definitely recommend combining your tulips with other gorgeous spring bulbs, also to extend your blooming season. And with April rolling in, our daffodils are peaking and we're starting to see the first of the tulips and I was so excited this year to still get blooms given everything that the bulbs had to go through. Any bud that I would see was really a gift. If you want to prolong the flowering period of your spring bulbs, get them some shade. This is really something that I've noticed at the Coconut or even in my own garden. Tulips that are left in full sun won't last as long compared to just getting them some morning sun and then protecting them from the harsher afternoon sun. For me now in the new garden, dappled shade just works perfectly and really prolong the flowering period on all of my bulbs. I always find it difficult to cut flowers from my displays, but I had a little bit of a droopy daffodil situation, so I thought it would look much nicer in a vase inside. Is it just me or is it difficult to cut flowers away from the garden?
glad I saved daffodils because they typically bloom for a very long time and then I'll be able to replant them in the grass. Unfortunately, this year the tulip show is not going to be as glorious as it could have been. I couldn't save all the bulbs and from the ones that I saved, we're still waiting on a few late comers, but really, the most beautiful blooms are behind us, I think. There's still beauty in fading bulbs though, I think. There's not much left. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it relaxing and peaceful and that it inspired you to bring in even more spring bulbs in your garden next year. If you want to know how to best care for your bulbs, check out my tulip slash spring bulb aftercare video where I give you all the tips so that you can maximize your chance of seeing your bulbs again. But it's okay, like me, to decide to try out new varieties every year. That's also a really beautiful way to keep the garden really interesting. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out our next video. So I'll see you there. Thanks again for watching. Bye.